James seemed to do just enough and got some big outs when he needed to. Maybe not his sharpest, but you guys agree. Number two. It, it was a it was a big time effort. His uh, his want to was better than his how to tonight. Um, through five, four innings, the leadoff hitters on base. He pitched out of the stretch the whole night. Best inning was the sixth. Uh, pitched up in the zone more than he did down. Um, but at the end of the day, six innings, two runs, left a bunch of people on base. And you know, like you said, he got outs when he needed to. Can you talk about your bullpen? You have a few new faces with a couple of those guys coming in. Good work. Well, they have been, you know, I, Janet asked earlier how we're going to attack the end, and sometimes uh, you don't divulge it early, but I felt if we got to a part of the game today, we might use two guys, and we might do that again. You know, we might mix and match a little bit, lighten the load. Um, that's how it went tonight, but uh, Wood came in with a strong, uh, strong seventh. The ground ball double play was big. You know, for James to go out there, the, the first three hitters in the lineup on, on base six times against James, so he was done. He wasn't going to face the top of the lineup again. And to throw Wood in there, you know, I felt confident. I like his stuff. He's down in the zone. He's got a, he's got a swing and miss slider when it's in play and uh, did a nice job. Tony came in, got the left hand, and the guy that I thought for sure that he would get, Pagan, it's been a little bit of a challenge for Pagan hitting right hand against left-handers, but he threw a good up bat out there, and we get the walk. And Varis gets an out, and then a double, make it real interesting, and then uh, you know threw some real nice breaking balls to Paulino to close that down and hand hand, uh, you know the exclamation point again for us. Is that about as good as you've seen Joel this year? I mean, he really blew him away. Today. He did, but he, you know he has done it a few times. I don't know if that would be one A, B, or C. He, he's had some he's had some nights that have been also with a slider. You know he's had some games with a slider also. Made some people take some funny swings. Um, he has, uh, he has definitely, he's growing every time he goes out there. What do you think you saw today from the team as a whole that you didn't see yesterday that allowed for the win? <laughs> well, we only scored one run yesterday. We gave up eight. Um, we, pitched, we, we pitched more effectively. Um, obviously, we, we played good defense, uh, some timely hitting. I was real proud of the way Andrew was able to show up today. Really struggled against Dickey uh, in New York. And uh, as he has a tendency to do, Saturday night crowd here in the Berg, he's thrown some big games out there, and he threw a pretty big one out there again tonight. When you're trying to change the culture here, how significant is it to have this kind of crisp performance after what was an all-around bad performance last night to bounce back in a big way? Well, it's never bad. I mean, if you could draw them up, you'd always like to play best in front of your biggest crowds. Um, we've had some good games in front of the, the big crowds so far. The one thing that I'm, that, that I'm uh, really, I really feel good about is that these guys out there have grasped the idea of pitch and play defense. Find ways to score on offense, but pitch and play defense. And it makes for a good game. Uh, it keeps everybody in the game. We found ways, you know, we make a couple defensive switches late to keep everybody involved uh, pretty much. Keeps everybody fresh, keeps everybody in the game. Um, so. It was a good game for us. You gotta love that crowd. You gotta love that energy. You gotta love hearing them at the end when your closer's out there on the mound. You gotta love hearing them when Varus is on the mound, second and third in the bottom of the eighth inning. I mean, that's good stuff. Torregas throwing out a runner in the first inning proved to be a big play. Is it the kind of little thing that you're looking for out of these guys? Because obviously you're not expecting them to do a lot to you know, help you win games. I mean, at the end of the day, Wyatt showed up as big as anybody tonight. Uh, he handled the pitches. He made a couple big blocks. Made a big block in the eighth inning. Uh, uh, you know, breaking ball down the dirt, trying to get a chase swing. He's right in front. He snuffs it to throw the first runner out, throw Reyes out in the first. Had to help his confidence, his boost. You know, I gave him one more pat on the butt going out there. I said, come on, you're six and you're playing in the backyard. Go have some fun. That's what he looked like back there. Yeah, he came out with Ferris, I think it was, and talked to him. Is it good to see him taking that to go out there and talk to him? And it is. That's one of his strain. He's not going to back down. He's going to play. He's got nothing to lose. He's like all of us, really. And uh, he epitomizes, you know, what we've been able to do when we've looked internal to give some guys. You know, you end the game, you got three or four guys with number 60 and higher out there. I mean, it catches your attention a little bit. <laughs> catches your attention. And uh, I really like the way he just stepped in there and just played with confidence. How nice was it to get some three good at-bats from Garrett, uh, Garrett Jones? Really good. I mean, we, we are obviously a much better offense when Garrett can get rolling and get involved in the offense. And, uh, you know, we had a heart-to-heart -heart the other day just trying to figure some things out. And, um, I have confidence in him. I believe he has confidence in himself. I just want him going up there with bad intentions. 
and just hitting the ball hard where it's pitched. Not looking for homers. Just hit the ball hard where it's pitched. He's got a he's got a, a bat that we need. It changes the lineup when his when his bat is in play. So good a good night back for him in the lineup. Was that a classic McCutcheon play? The hard hit ball to third base turns into two runs and he gets all the way to third. The kind of disturber things he can do. It is, and it happens in a blink of an eye. You're watching the one guy swear if he's going to score, and the the ball comes out of base hand hot. And the next thing you know. You know, the helmet's off, the dreadlocks are flowing, he's brushing the dirt off at third base. You're like, wow. He, he, he can make things happen. It's a, it's a dynamic force on the base. And Reyes on the other side has got that same kind of speed. That's just game-changing speed. Okay. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.